Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course. And the topic for today will be the parametric drawing tools. Um, so we will start a new uh, a new chapter, uh, this time regarding these uh, constraints, geometrical and uh, dimensional uh, constraints, uh, which uh, introduce the parametric drawing inside AutoCAD. This is a very important uh, topic and uh, today this lesson will be only uh, of uh, a very brief uh, introduction on uh, what kind of thing we can do with these parametric tools. So this is the kind of tool that allow you to uh, put some intelligence on the drawing. So entities will have a smart connection between them and uh, that will allow the drawing to make uh, to adapt in several situations and uh, for example uh, you can make a, a simulation of a mechanical uh, mechanism uh, working or uh, simulating movement with this kind of uh, technology or functionality inside AutoCAD. Um, a very brief example because we will go a little further on the next lessons. Um, we need to come to this uh, parametric uh, menu. We have uh, this kind of uh, commands here. Uh, we have uh, in some cases the possibility to make uh, auto constraint, so it's an automatic tool to make uh, these uh, relations and to create this information on the entities. Uh, anyway, everything that ha that it's automatic, it's not so good and you cannot control it exactly on the way you need and you want. So uh, the idea here is to understand the tools very good and to know how to apply each one of them. So let us put a couple of geometric constraints in these uh, entities I've created so that you understand the concept of this. So these two lines are not parallel, but I want them to be parallel whatever it happens on the drawing. So I will choose the parallel constraint. I will say follow this one first. This one will, will, will be parallel to it. So now this is parallel. For example, we can have also a concentric um, constraint. And this is the master. This will follow. Besides this, I can uh, put a relation between the lines and the circles. And for example, I can say tangent. So this is this one can be the master in this case, and the circle will be tangent. And you see, uh, because I've told this circle to be tangent to this line, but because at the same time, this uh, smaller circle is concentric with this one, so they need to follow it. And now uh, I have some uh, intelligence on, in these entities. For example, if I change this entity, because of the relations I have in my drawing, the others will follow. So this is the kind of uh, functionality that you can have uh, with these constraints. So this is not um, an easy topic if you start to have uh, complex drawings or if you want really a completely parametric drawing because uh, the purpose is to um, put uh, all these relations and when you change something all the drawing, all the ten, all the entities will change on a way that uh, it's the 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 way that the user wants. So you need to understand quite well the kind of relations we have here. But I will leave this for the next lessons.